it looks horrific. I'm embarrassed about the way it looks. I'm taking the shame away, it's not my fault. I cannot make my brain work in a neurotypical way. I've tried, I've tried, it doesn't work. Hello, hello. Today I am off to Ikea because I have like a bee in my bonnet and I wanna sort out my cabinet. And I'm wanting to sort it out by getting a pegboard and some of the little like shelf things that you can put on them. I really, really need to make my plants look aesthetically pretty again because I'm just, it looks awful. The whole shelving unit and cabinet looks awful and I'm just not, I'm not looking after them. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now before we leave. And then we're gonna go to Ikea. So yeah. This is what the shelves and cabinet is looking like currently. It looks horrific, horrific. <laughs> and I really need to sort all of it out. And part of my plan to sort some of it out, well, all of it out, is to rearrange the inside of the cabinet. Um, Cause it's just, it's looking awful. And I haven't been sharing it with you because I'm just, I just hate the way it looks but I think you will have seen um, the update by now about my channel. I'm gonna be doing like decluttering and organizing videos here on my channel. And this feels very much a part of all of those projects that I have in mind to do. And I am taking the shame away about how my house can look so chaotic often. I'm taking the shame away. It's not my fault. I cannot make my brain work in a neurotypical way. I've tried, I've tried, it doesn't work. So yeah, it looks horrific. I'm embarrassed about the way it looks, but we're, we're letting go of that feeling and we're gonna make it better. Let's go to Ikea. Hey gang, I am back from Ikea and I've made a cup of tea, but I've left it over there, which is sad, but I will get it in a minute. I can't really get back up right now. I've just set you up resting, so I don't think it's the best shot in the world, but it'll have to do for now. So I went to Ikea for a couple of things. My ADHD brain is really working against me at the moment. One of the things I wanted to get was the the Akabar, like the little mini greenhouse to sit on top of my cabinet there. Did I get it? No, I didn't. I totally forgot about it. I remembered as I was like going down the escalator thing to leave and I wasn't about to like walk around right here again. So I'm annoyed about that. But there is, I probably will be going back to Ikea at some point soon because there's a mirror I want to get that I will need to take Steve with me because I won't be able to carry it on my own <laughs> um so the other reason i wanted to go there was to look for storage for my like soil and substrates um and i was originally looking at these but they were much bigger than i was expecting them to be i've not completely ruled them out yet but i did i bought like a couple of other boxes to 
see first but I, I, I don't I'll talk to you about it in a minute and then to get a pegboard for in here and <laughs> I'm now having doubts as to whether I want to even style this with a pegboard but let's just go through the haul so as I said I wanted to look at getting a pegboard to go into the cabinet on the back to hang plants off of I am having some doubts about it, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that's still what I want to do. I definitely need to think about it for a bit. But to go with the pegboard, I picked up three of these little shelves. So they're like this, got the black ones. That's kind of how they hook on. So I bought three of those and I reckon I could put either three or two maybe four plants on them each i also picked up two sets of these clips so they like clip in and i could like clip plants onto them <laughs> so there's two in each set so i've got four of those and that was all i picked up in terms of the pegboard for now as i said I am having doubts, like I still don't know 100% if that's how I want to style it and I don't know, like I know Ikea are usually really good with like returning items, like I'm, they take things that are built already don't they, so I don't think, like I feel like I could set it up and decide and then return it but I'd rather just not faff around with it if I'm not gonna go with it. Anyway, I also picked up this which is from the kitchen section. It's like a strainer, washer thing for your food. <laughs> I am gonna use it to like wash my lecker and my pond and things like that. I really want to start cleaning those things more so that I don't get the layer of like dirty dust build up at the bottom of my glass vessels. So. I bought that and what my plan is, is whenever I use it, I'm going to put like a cheesecloth kind of thing underneath it so that water can run through freely, but it will hopefully catch a lot of the dust that comes off because I don't want that going in my drains. Um, like I really don't want that going down my drains. If you, do, like, if you don't know, I live on, I live in an apartment, but I live in an, an, <laughs> I live in, <laughs> why is that so hard to say? I live in an apartment. I am on the top floor and like the thought of blocking my drains or like anybody else's, <laughs> you really don't want to do that. So I will be using something to try and prevent some of the dust going down the drain. So back to the storage boxes for my substrates. I picked up this size. And I picked up this size. And I would really like it. So you guys know I get most of my substrates from Soil Ninja. And their big bags are 10 litre bags. And apparently this holds 11 litres. But there was just, like when I was stood in the store, I was like, I just don't believe that it would all fit in there. If it can, that would be amazing because I would love to empty the bag out into here, put the lid on, and like where I keep my substrates already, I could put it in there and stack them and it would look good. And I could put like a little label, make it look all pretty. Whereas this is much bigger and I wouldn't be able to store as many of them as I would like to in that space. So I need to have like a bit of a play around with that. Why I wanted, like, I'm, I like, the clear box aesthetic but the reason I was looking at getting these ones was because I like the fact that you could like open the lid and scoop some out scoop out the words scoop out what you needed and then like move about your day you didn't have to like pull it all out take the whole lid off like just that little section lid so like those types of bins seem to be quite hard to come by in the kind of size that I want so, I don't know. I think the smaller version of that box holds 13 litres. So 
yeah it was just much wider than I thought it was going to be like it's quite a chunky box but we'll see what else did I pick up so I got got the lids for those boxes I picked up this little <laughs> just this little like it just looks like this a storage box it's like a suede red I just really like the color it it got me <laughs> it got me so I don't know what I'm gonna put in it but I really liked it so I picked up two of these these are the ikea 365 plus range three pound fifty they're so sturdy and obviously i'm gonna put a plant in it so as that i got two of those like i said i picked up this little orchid there wasn't that many like interesting plants to be completely honest but this was the only orchid of this color and i just thought it was just so beautiful and dark that I can't get it out that I wanted to pick it up basically like look at how stunning that is it's really really pretty they actually have some really gorgeous orchids like by the time I picked up the pegboard and stuff it was really hard for me to carry on filming because I couldn't carry everything um but there were some really really beautiful orchids there like different sized flowers with like different shapes to them but it was just the darkness it almost looked black in the store like obviously it's like a deep burgundy purple it doesn't have a scent to it but I just thought it was really really pretty really pretty the roots look good i think I think I will repot it soon but I can see that they're green through the pot which is what you want you want your roots to be green so yeah cute and I did get one more thing which is this iridescent vase I guess how cute is that it's like a like a rainbow but it's not it's double-ended there was a bigger size one as well, but I went with this. This is £12, but you know I love my iridescence. And I just thought a plant would look really cute in there to propagate. Okay, I am going to drink that cup of tea I told you about. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to do a little bit of tidying. Like I've got some laundry out and I need to do the dishwasher and stuff. And then I'm going to just like, while I'm doing those things, I'm going to let my brain just mull over what I want to do about the pegboard. And if I do decide to keep it and I set it up, you will see me again. If I don't, and this is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. I cannot wait to sort all of this out. So please stick around, subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss how I, how I go about sorting all of this out. <laughs> if I am sorting out the pegboard, I will see you in a minute. Hey gang, it is a different day. It's the next day um, and I am going to try and set up this pegboard. So I've put the camera on. I'm probably gonna not talk too much through everything but um, we'll just see when it comes to editing like what I end up doing. But first I'm gonna take everything out and then I'm going to give it a clean and then figure out how to get the the board to hang in there. <laughs> I've never used this um, glass cleaner before, but it's actually really good. 
I'll have it linked below. It's really, really good. Sometimes we think I'm going to knock something over. Honestly. Right, what angle should I set you up for the actual pegboard? Um, <clears throat> okay, so to get the pegboard kind of secure, I'm going to use these little magnetic hooks. I got them off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it can hold, like one of these can hold the weight of like, I think it's 10 kilograms, like this way round and 25 this way. I think I'll put the thing on the screen. So I figured if I've got three of them and it's gonna be like, hopefully resting on the glass as well, I think it will be like sturdy enough to hold Hold it up, I think. Let's just see. I am. Um... Last night I had like a little fiddle around putting the things on without unwrapping it properly. So I'll just take all of those off. I think having a little play around with them and putting them on helped me to come to the conclusion that I did want to give it a go. So here we are. So the accessories are all metal um, and therefore should be fine. The pegboard is, it's wood and then sprayed with like an acrylic paint, I think. So my worry is that it might go mouldy like over time. Like I don't know for definite. I didn't do, I didn't do like a really thorough bit of research into this. So there may be people online saying that they have had theirs going moldy, but we'll see. I'm assuming this thing's gonna fit. I did measurements. So if I'm right in thinking that these can hold 25 kilograms each, like there's no way that that board and some plants are going to weigh like 75 kilograms as that. So let's, let's get this hooked up. harder than I thought it was going to be um it's because the hooks are not like the shape of them doesn't sit properly okay um oh, no, 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 no. like it just needs to like balance almost I could 
do with like some little zip ties really to hook to here. But I don't have anything like that. What to do, what to do, what to do. Mm, come on brain. Auction. Right. <laughs> so the like the shape of the hook doesn't sit like this doesn't sit properly on it for it to be able to stick that makes no sense but i'm gonna make some extension things with this bit of black wire and put it on here so that the hooks can just hook onto these things and i'm hopeful that it will be secure enough <laughs> wasn't as smooth sailing as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, I guess I just have to hope that the wire hooks, or like the wire extensions that I've made, hold strong. Um, okay, let's do the fun part of arranging the shelves and getting plants in there. I'm a little bit scared that it will come crashing down. Hey gang, Editing Amy here. This video is actually coming to an end now and I haven't rounded it up. Basically, I I just got really tired on this day when I was filming. I was having a bad um, like decision fatigue day. So making the decisions about where to put these plants, even though kind of minor in the grand scheme of life, I was really, really struggling well, on this day and like ADHD paralysis, I just couldn't couldn't make the decisions I got completely stuck and Steve came home shortly after I kind of stopped filming and took a little bit of a break and we ended up having dinner and I just didn't get back into this task the cabinet still looks exactly the same as it does at the end of this video <laughs> um so yeah I didn't film an outro I haven't got the umph right now to film an outro or kind of show you what it's looking like because it looks exactly the same I am in a bit of a filming rut at the moment, but I'm hoping to get back on track soon. So, I mean, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.